that was awful good. Uh, always got to have me a little cup of something hot when I'm up here. And I uh, wanted to show you a little something. Now normally you've seen me, I cook over the coals, my cooking sticks or whatever. So my cups don't get dirty like this. They stay pretty, pretty darn clean when I do that. But today I just made me a big mound of fire, set this thing in there and cooked it while I was off doing some other stuff. So it's a little bit on the nasty side right now. Now you're probably looking at that and thinking, man, that's going to be a, that is going to be a lot of trouble, a big mess to clean that up. But I'm here to tell you, it's no sweat at all because the fire that created this mess can also clean it up. So let me show you how that's done right here. I'm going to try to do it in, I'm going to try to wash this thing off in my, uh, going to dip it in my uh, zebra pot. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is dump a little water in there to work with. And, uh, you know, oftentimes I do carry a little scotch bright pad like this, a little square like this. In my, I always have them in my cook sets if I bring my cook set. Oftentimes I'm too lazy, I just bring one or two items. But, but anyway, that's, that's something you can use as well. But I'll show you something that works even better. You don't even need this thing at all. You can use it if you want to help out with, but you don't have to. So anyway, what I want to do is dip this cup down here in the water to get it all wet. Now you see over here in the fire, this white ash here, nearly white. Now if I waited till morning, that ash, that whole pile would be just a big pile of white ash right there. All right, so oftentimes in the morning, I'll... Uh, <clears throat> I'll, I might scoop up a couple cups of this white ash and save it aside before I start my morning fire. Use that for cleaning up. Now I've kind of let this stuff dry a little bit here, but the idea is you get your cup moist. And then you use that ash right there to, to clean it up. And what I've found is uh, actually is that stuff, you can actually just let it sit there for a little bit. And it actually will start hardening. It'll start, uh, start loosening that stuff up a little bit. You see, I really got this baby. I really got this baby in a bad way, you know what I mean? I mean, I set that thing in the fire And uh, it's going like crazy here. And what I do every so often, you just kind of rinse it off a little bit. Now, some now this ash is a little darker because I didn't let it sit. If you let it sit overnight, all the, all the charcoal will all the charcoal will come out of it, and so you will literally have just practically pure white ash and that works the best but you can see in just a, just a few moments here kind of get a little light on there and that will take this stuff pretty much all the way down I actually I actually ran out of water in this at one point, <laughs> and uh, and I uh, and I really scorched the darn thing. But uh, but anyway, as you can see. As you can see, it doesn't take much to doesn't take much to get that down. And this was this was really bad. I mean, I was off I was off videoing, and this thing was in the fire, heating up some water. 
and I it actually ran clear out of water and turned started to turn in blue. So the stuff that's on here, it's really on there good. Like I say, you can't even make a little make a little paste out of the ash and sprinkle on there and let that kind of soak, and it will actually it'll actually get in there and tend to loosen some of that. This is a pretty bad case here. So I shouldn't have demonstrated something this bad, but you know, just to show you, you can you can clean this stuff up pretty good. So you can see right there, cleaned up pretty good. I got a couple of tough spots here where I see where I really burned it bad right there. Really bad. <laughs> so it really scorched that in there badly. But, but you know, it doesn't take much. A little bit of ash from your fire. And uh, a few more minutes here and I can have that thing just clean, cleaned up really nice. So anyway, there you see the cup right there. Nice and clean. Except for where I burned it. See, I, I discolored the metal, even on the handles. But anyway, other than that, that cleaned up pretty nice. I made a paste that I put kind of down in here and let it just sit there, a paste of ash and water. Let that kind of sit there on this bottom where it really burned bad. I mean, that was thick. That was a thick, I could scrape with a knife. But anyway, I just let that soften it up and then I just, you know, washed it off. So. Anyway, just a little quick little tip there. Use, uh, use fire to cook with, fire to keep warm with. Fire makes your pots dirty if it gets smoky. Fire, the remains of the fire, the white ashes, can also clean up your stuff without, and this is natural, it's the same thing that comes from a forest fire, you know. <laughs> so, you know, it's not, it's not any kind of harmful thing or whatever. So it's, it's something good to be good to use and it's a very nice uh, sturdy cleaner for cleaning up your gear. So Perry Peacock, Wilderness Innovation, having fun in the outdoors, showing you a little tip here and there, camp clean up using the ashes from the fire. So take care, have a great day, see you on the next go around. <coughs> <coughs>